was a busy day as the campers were getting ready for the annual Camp Candy Country Fair. I was busy polishing the bamboo woodpecker. That's the prize trophy I won at last year's country fair. Ah, what a beauty. A lot of hard work and sweat had gone into that award. Lots of sweat. Whew. Smelled like it, too. <laughs> After I finished with the bird, I had a couple of minutes to kill, so I switched on an old movie. Ah, yeah, there's nothing like those old black and white movies. Sham Shade's the name. Trouble's my game, see? Candy's the name. Camp Crimes are my game. That's why I wear this hat. Yeah, being head counselor is a lot like being a black and white detective. And it looked like it was going to be one of those days. The door to my office was open. Open to any two-bit crook or lonely loser that happened to walk in. First, the real hard guys stopped by asking for a handout. Did you find my shirt? Lucky for me, I had his number. Another case closed. Thanks! You'll be great for the country fair relay races. But do you think you can find my other sneaker? The case of the missing sneaker would have to wait another day. Because just then, trouble walked in. Yoo-hoo. John. Hair like corn silk, a mouth like a goldfish, and legs that wouldn't quit. She also had a nose that wouldn't quit, but hey, nobody's perfect. Hey, I baked a little surprise for you. Broccoli and eggplant cookies. Gee, Nurse Molly, you shouldn't have. And I really mean you shouldn't have. Oh, nothing's too good for my favorite head counselor. You know, you really should do something about that eye condition. After Nurse Molly left, I deep six the cookies. <laughs> But something didn't feel quite right. Then it hit me like a punch in the kisser. The bamboo woodpecker had flown the coop. Looks like a case for John Candy, camp detective. I needed time to think, so I dropped in at the local greasy spoon for a cup of joe. Or I mean a glass of moo. I found myself a quiet table in the back and ordered the blue plate special. Whoa! Hot! Too hot! This is very hot! This is very hot! This oatmeal is like two it burns. You know how to cool it off, don't you, John? Just put your lips together and blow. When I finally got it cool, the oatmeal was tough. I was tougher. I cut that oatmeal down to size, but I still had the big one to solve. Who stole the bamboo woodpecker? After breakfast, I rounded up the usual suspects and gave them the once-over. Binky, too young. Alex, too busy. Robin, too honest. Iggy, too nervous. Theodore, he'd lose it. And Lucky, too lazy. Then I saw her, the blonde. It was always a blonde. Hi, Joe. And I knew deep in my guts Nurse Molly had taken the bamboo woodpecker. Those cookies were just her ploy to distract me. Either that or poison me. But the only way to prove it was to shadow her, to follow her wherever she went, to not let her out of my sight for a second. Well, maybe I could let her out of my sight for a couple of minutes. <laughs> From then on, I didn't let her out of my sight. She was up to something, all right. First, there was the mysterious phone call. I've got it. Okay, I'll bring it and meet you in an hour. Then she made a secret trip to town, carrying a mysterious package. I followed Nurse Molly like a rat follows cheese as she headed over to the general store. Only she was the rat, and I was... Well, you get it. It's a, it's a whole thing I can't... Never mind. I'd follow her to the end of the earth if I had to. Or at least to the end of the store. <laughs> it's in this box. Ah, my favorite shade of green, and lots of it. The only shade of green that would get Granny that excited was the kind that comes with a president's portrait on it. Green backs. That's detective talk for big bucks. So Granny was in on the scheme. 
it's a little short. Ah, do you think John will notice? I didn't need to see inside to figure the whole thing out. Nurse Molly had probably been robbing me blind for years. Oh, it's beautiful. If this works out, I'll have more work for you, Granny. All right, dear. And I'll come to Camp Candy in a little while to make sure everything goes as planned. The kids know all about it. So the kids were in on it, too. As I hurried back to Camp Candy, I could just imagine what was going on there. I started to fantasize. And I really get into my fantasies. <laughs> Have you got it? I've got it. Genuine article? You tell me. <laughs> you! It's the real thing, all right. Go on. The huge man is waiting. The deed is done. But when I got back to Camp Candy, everything looked as sweet and wholesome as a country fair. Yeah, the kids were good. Very good. Too good. But they didn't fool me. All I had to do was wait. I went along with their fun and games. I knew that one was for me. It had my name written all over it. Oh, oof. But it was clear my old pals were out to get me, the double-crossers. But I kept up the pretense, acting like I didn't know which end was up. A little later, Nurse Molly met Granny Knott, and I knew I was right about their little scheme. It felt good to be right, I... Guess I know how Picasso felt when Mona Lisa first cracked a smile. Those two had plenty to hide, and they weren't taking any chances. I wasn't taking any chances either. Oh, Granny Nut, it's perfect! Oh, my stars, it's John! Looks like our plan is working already. Who, me? Oh, hey, I'm just, just washing windows. <laughs> now, where did I put that rag? It's here somewhere. Uh-oh. Whoa! hit me. Everything was going around and around and around and around and around and it just kept going around and more around and whoa, it's still going around and more around than I could imagine. Swing your partner around and round, all about a left and back to town. I don't know what hit me, but suddenly Nurse Molly and I were the stars of the Country Fair Square Dance. Do say do now, two by two. Then twirl around. It did? After we swung our partners for a couple hours, I bellied up to the bar for a cup of joe. A glass of moo, a tumbler of lemon, something like that. You know the song. Play it again, Stan. Then I spilled my guts to Iggy. So that's the story, Iggy. I've been betrayed by a woman. You think Nurse Molly stole the bamboo woodpecker, and she and Granny Knott were going to sell it and substitute a fake woodpecker? <sighs> That's about the size of it, Iggy. <laughs> John, I think you've been ducked once too often. Nurse Molly took her dress to Granny Knott's for alterations. She was hoping you'd ask her to dance tonight. Say what? Come on, John. They can't go see Joe without us. Please, no, I really could. No, please, my leg. It's an old injury. I No, please. While Nurse Molly and I do -si doed our toes off, I thought maybe Iggy was right. Maybe I had gotten it all wrong. I felt like Humpty Dumpty with egg on his face. Even Sham Shade makes a mistake once in a while. But the question remained, who stole the woodpecker? Something still didn't smell right about the whole scheme. I felt like the answer was right under my nose. Phew! Or at least somewhere in my office. I leaned back to think. Then it hit me like a ton of bricks. Oh! Whoa! I mean, a ton of books. And there it was. The Bamboo Woodpecker. 
Yeah, it was the genuine article, all right. I'd forgotten that I'd put it up on the shelf at the beginning of the show. <laughs> hey, but when you've got so many cases like I do, some things slip your mind. <laughs> So another case was closed. Nurse Molly and the campers were innocent, and the bamboo woodpecker was back on my desk. But there'd be a new case to solve tomorrow. There always is. Just like in those old black and white movies. So that's the story, sweetheart. I'll think of you every day. But this case is bigger than both of us, see? So I'm sending you up the river. I lean back to grab a little shut-eye. I knew I'd sleep like a baby because the bamboo woodpecker was safe. And it smelled a whole lot better now. There was only one thing to do before I drifted off. See, I dream in color, don't you? Yeah, she, she, she. Yeah, she, she. At least once every camp season, Iggy went crazy over magic. But one time, I went a little crazy over magic myself. Yippee! It's here! It's here! It all started with one of those do-it-yourself magic kits Iggy was always sending away for. Wow, open it up! Open it up! Look! A hat, a sock, instruction book, and make Iggy's magic dust! Oh, 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 but here's the best part. A video! They say Fake Eating reveals all his secrets. Hiya, uh, the great the Fake Kini. I'm uh, now going to teach you the secrets of uh, my trade. After all, uh, you paid a uh, nineteen and ninety-nine for this uh, tape. Uh, you might as well learn something, huh? <laughs> okay. Meet my sister, Saliana. Now I'm uh, going to saw Saliana in two, like a soul. I can't look. That's about it. Now meet uh, my sister. A Sally! And... Wow! The master! Uh, you can look now. But uh, don't try this at home. Uh, until uh, you send it for my second video for just $29.99. A bargain at a half of the price. Uh, bye bye for now! A Sally! And... Ooh. Ah. Now I'm going to show you another trick. For this trick, you need a pelt. <laughs> and you're also going to need a friend, a Mr. Caesars. Now, you snip the pelt of dustling into itty bitty pieces. Press to a change, a babaloo. Here's a brand new belt for you. Presto a change, a babaloo. Here is a brand new belt for you. <laughs> Belt scraps! Now that's magic! <laughs> now, if you want to learn how to do this belt the trick, just send $39.99 for my third video, okay? Hey, I can do magic! Uh, look, I'll, uh, I'll pull a rabbit out of that! Ribbit. <laughs> you just better watch out, or the great guinea will turn you all into frogs. <laughs> Come on, lighten up, Iggy, will you? Please? Iggy was still upset, so a little later, I took the kids on a hike to get our minds off magic. Yep, there it is, guys. Which mountain? Which mountain are they talking about? That's what he said. That mountain. Which mountain? Mm. Which mountain is which mountain? Which mountain is the mountain to which I'm pointing? I just want to know what its name is. Which mountain? That's all I want to know. Well, it's called Witch Mountain because uh, it's shaped like a witch's hat. Ouch! Ah, oh, he's nuts. It's called Witch Mountain because a witch lives there. Oh, you're so smart. Shut up. That's what I thought. <sighs> This is as far as we go, gang. You can see the little cabin on Witch Mountain. Some folks say a real witch lives there. Uh, who owns that property? You or Rex? Neither. Nobody owns it, except the witch. Witch witch! Huh? Yeah! <laughs> Looks like Binky let his imagination get the best of him. <laughs> that night after lights out, I was making the rounds. There was Iggy Lion practicing a spell on poor sleeping Binky. Of the fog turned brother Binky into a frog. Oh, uh, hi, John. I was just, uh, um, uh, 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 you know. 
Abracadabra, boogity bay, go to sleep right away. Yeah, I'll turn you into a bug with that magic dust. That's not funny, Piggy. Come on, Iggy, you know that magic stuff isn't real. They're all just tricks. There's an explanation for everything they do. Although, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Now, now, what's this about a frog in your throat, Iggy? It tickles. Ribbit. Oh, come on. I'll hurry you into town to see a doctor. All right, campers, we got a real treat today. Granny Knot's taking us down to the swamp to catch frogs and tadpoles. Oh, yay! yay! <laughs> ribbit, ribbit. No offense, Granny, but how are you going to catch frogs? Show them, Granny. Buddy up in Granny's wagon, guys. Where's your binky, buddy? I mean, buddy binky. Looks like it's you and me, John. Iggy. Hey, we're missing Iggy. I'll meet you all there. Remember, stick with your buddy. <laughs> Spumoni, spaghettini, uh, spells. Uh, here, here, have some oatmeal. Oh, I forgot. You hate oatmeal. <laughs> have a pancake. I'll help you, buddy. I swear, I'll help you. Oh, Iggy, that's disgusting. Oh, ugh. no, no, you're right. You're right. You must keep up your strength. Let's see. Slithery mist, pea soup fog. Please undo this curse of frog. Ribbit. Poor little guy. You don't even have your glasses. Oh, how am I going to explain this to your mother? Oh, hi, Iggy's mother. <laughs> I just turned your son into a frog. <laughs> He'll never play ball again. But you'll be great at hopscotch. <laughs> gotcha, Iggy. Oh, I don't know which way to turn. I don't know which... Which? Which? That's it. The witch on which mountain? I'll save you, Iggy. Oh, I'll save you. Let's go. Which mountain? Oh, no. Iggy, Iggy, come on. You're not going to believe this. We're almost... It was a dangerous climb up Witch Mountain, but I was determined to save Iggy no matter what. <sighs> Just a little farther, Iggy. <sighs> Hang in there, little buddy. <sighs> See? He thinks you're the frog. Whoa! Rex de Forest. Not Rex de Forest. A witch! Oh, please, witch! Help me remove a curse, please! Ah, come right in. Can you see what's happening? Yeah, the witch is wrapping up John like a mummy. Oh, no! The witch is giving John a secret potion. Oh, no. Oh, the witch is getting ready to shove John in the oven, just like Hansel and Gretel. We've got to save him. Oh. John! 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 Are you okay? Oh. Are you okay? You did it. You broke the spell. Oh, oh, I wish my Rex was nice like you boys. Look at this lousy cabin he built me. I can't even get cable. Rex? Rex de Forest? Yeah, this is his mom. But she's nice. <laughs> Makes good brownies, too. Very good brownies. While we're setting things straight, I'd better tell you, Binky didn't really turn me into a frog. I just went to the doctor. <laughs> 
food came in the window and spilled the dust. Well, sure, I, uh, I, I knew that. Sure, I did. Well, the story about our trip to Witch Mountain made a good yarn around the campfire that night. That witch was nice. In which witch? Oh, oh, you mean Mama DeForest. She wasn't a witch. Boy, we sure were wrong about her. You know, I think we ought to plan to hike up there and visit her again. She wasn't a witch. And I wasn't a frog. You're sure about that? <laughs> Kidding, that's all.